Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How, how is it going? I am okay, teacher. Okay, I'm happy to hear that you are nice. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. So, welcome to the class. Alejandra, Emerita, Luis, Emily, Sofia, Daisy, Andrea, Brian, Crisia, Julia, Noemi, and Margarita. Welcome. It's nice to see you tonight. Thank you for your punctuality. I'm going to write Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, uh, tell me, how was your day today? How was your day? Well, uh, um, yesterday, no. In the, the last weekend. Uh, yes. Uh, a scorpion stung me. And my really? tongue and my hand feel asleep. I have, I have never felt that. Ah, okay. And a scorpion hurt your hand? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. But are you okay, Luis? Is everything yes. okay? Because uh, I... I I go to I I would I was go to the clinic. Okay, I went uh, as a doctor. I, I went. went to the I doctor. Went. I the went doctor. to the doctor. Yes, I went to the doctor. Okay. Yeah. Helpfully you are okay, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's start with the class of tonight. So let me ask you a question tonight. Uh, do you have a problem with the platform? In which section are you working on? Can you please tell me? In which section? Section one, section two, section three, section four. Section one. Oh, section one. You are still on section one. So do you have any problem on those sections? Any question, any problem? Teacher, la plataforma está muy difícil. No la puedo resolver. Can you help me, please? Is it easy? No, teacher, está muy fácil. En una noche la voy a resolver. <laughs> en una madrugada que me despierte inspirada la voy a resolver. Oh. Yo por más que me inspire, teacher. <laughs> Hay okay. una lección, la de, la, la de el, las horas. Sí, la de los horarios. En que el video, el, el, sí, el video, podríamos decir. O sea, no sé si soy yo la que mis audífonos no me ayudan, pero es bien, no alcanzo a comprender las horas porque. El, Cierto. El... Ah, ok. You are talking uh -huh. about the listening part. Is the last exercise of the section number two. Is that the sí. exercise? Okay, don't worry, we're going to study that tonight. Okay, so we are going to see the transcript of that conversation. So you are going to understand, I am sure of that. So okay. let us, if you don't have any other Thank question, you. you're welcome, my yo pleasure. Lo que, yo lo que hago es que le bajo las revoluciones y me dice, what are you, y ahí ya me lo va diciendo más despacio. Ah, gracias por el secreto, <risa> compañera. Está mucho sabido, Entonces, no, no entiende. Entonces yo, y de ahí le dice, pero así se lo dice pausado. Entonces Ajá. uno ya va entendiendo más. Ahí ah. dice dónde se le bajan. I love you, Nelly. Ok, thank you, Nelly. <risa> hey, thank you. Thank you. Ok. Ya nos, ya nos exhibió, ¿verdad? Ya nos exhibió. Y así tanto me quebré la cabeza. <risa> No, but that, that worked, that really worked. But in the case of the videos, but now that is an audio. And I think okay. that we can do that in the audio, in that app. But very good tips. Thank you, Noemi. We are going to put in practice that, right? And, You're welcome, teacher. Okay, so let's go with tonight's topic. Tonight, we're going to study time expression. The time expression is the topic for tonight. Welcome to your class number four. I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Uh, 
And let me know, please, yes, if sure. you can see my screen. Okay, thanks a lot. I can see. Thank you very much. So time expression. But before to go to the topic of tonight, um, we are going to have a review of yesterday equation. We were studying this question yesterday. What do you do? Where do you work? What do you do there? And how do you like your job? Do you remember the meaning of this question? Question number one, what is the meaning of what do you do? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Okay, excellent. Where do you work? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? ¿Dónde trabajas? Thank you very much. Uh, what do you do there? ¿Qué haces tú ahí? ¿Qué haces, ¿Qué haces tú ahí? ahí? Okay, perfect. And the last one, how do you like your job? ¿Qué es lo que te gusta de tu trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que te gusta de tu trabajo? Ah, okay. It means cuánto, right? Oh, cuánto te gusta tu trabajo. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuánto te gusta tu trabajo? Okay. Yes. Yeah, so how do you like your job? Podríamos eh, traducirle así, ¿verdad? Um, I have here some answer. What do you do? I'm a chef. Where do you work? I work in hotels and restaurants. What do you do there? I cook in the kitchen. How do you like? How do you like your job? I love it. Right? I love it. Uh, being a cook is my passion. Being a chef is my passion, right? This so, is Oscar. Uh, ah, yes, right. Oscar is in this conversation. Uh, then I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers to practice this conversation tonight. Me, teacher, Margarita. Okay. Margarita and Luis. Okay, Luis, you are A, Margarita, you are B. Okay, what do you do? Margarita, what do you do? Hello, Hello Margarita, can you listen Hello. to us? Hello. Okay, you are Don't B. Listen now. Okay, I am chef. Where do you work? I work in hotel and restaurant. What do you do there? I cook in the kitchen. How do you like your job? I love it. Okay, thank you, Luis. Thank you, Margarita. That was excellent. Thank you. So let's go with the next person. This person is a chef. What about the next one? Look at this, a lawyer. A lawyer. I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Me teacher. Me teacher, Oscar. Me teacher. Oscar and Noemi. Thank you. Noemi, you are A. Oscar, you are B. You can start okay. practicing. Okay. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. Where do you work? I work in the office. What do you dare? I solve people's legal problems. How do you like your job? I really like it. Excellent. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Noemi. Thank you, Oscar. That was great. Thank you. So what oh do you God. do? I am a lawyer. Where do you work? I work in an office. What do you do there? I solve people's legal problems. And how do you like your job? I really like it. Let's see the other person. A teacher. A teacher. Uh, any volunteer to practice? In this Me, teacher. Alejandra. Thank you, Alejandra and Carmen. Okay, Carmen, and then, then Emerita. So let's listen, Alejandra and Carmen first. Uh, Alejandra, you are A, Carmen, you are B. So you can start. Okay. okay, what does she do? She is a teacher. Where does she work? She works in the school. What does she do there? Um, she teach students. How does she like her job? She loves it. Thank you, Mike. That was a super job. Thank you. That was excellent. So this is third person, right? What does she do? Okay, I say ella. What does she do? She's a teacher. Where does she work? She works in a school. What does she do there? She teaches students. How does she like her job? She loves, she loves it. Ella ama este trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh, we teacher, we love our job, right? So let's go with the next. Expression of time. 
we are going to study this expression of time to nine. So look at this, around, we are going to learn around, early, late, until, before, and after. Mm -hmm. We use this time expression when we are talking in simple present. And we are talking about schedule, right? Um, horarios, estamos hablando acerca de horarios. We use this around, early, late, until, before, and after. So here is the meaning of this word. Around means cerca de, cerca o cerca de, early, es temprano, late, es tarde, until, hasta, before, the meaning of before is antes, and after is después. And I have here some examples for you. The first one says, I go to work around seven. I leave my house early. I arrive home late. I work until midnight. I play before going to sleep. I am tired after work. So look at the first one. I go to work around seven. What is the meaning of this sentence? I go to work around seven. Yes. Yo voy, yo voy a mi trabajo, trabajo alrededor de, de las siete. Las siete. Okay. Alrededor de las siete. Cerca de las siete, alrededor de las siete. Very good. Alrededor de las siete. I leave my house early. Ay, salgo de casa temprano. Salgo temprano. Okay, salgo temprano de mi casa. I arrive home late. Llego tarde a mi casa. Yes. Tarde. I work until midnight. Yo trabajo. Trabajo hasta la medianoche. Hasta medianoche. Okay, okay, excellent. I play before going to sleep. Yo juego, juego antes, antes de, ir a de ir a dormir. And the last one, I am tired after work. Llego cansado después del trabajo. Llego cansado de trabajar. Estoy cansado después del trabajo. Ok, very good. So, Emerita, can you help me please uh, reading these sentences? I go to work around seven. I leave my house early. I arrive home late. I work until my night. I play before going to sleep. I, I am tired after work. Thank you. That was almost perfect. Thank you very much. Just the work midnight. 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 Uh, tell me, do you have a question? Yes, uh, I have a, a question. Tell me, what is your question? En las cinco, en la quinta, eh, oración dice play before going. Ahí sería ING, ¿verdad? I -N -G. Oh, yes, you're right. Thank you very much. We're going to fix it right now. Just in a second. We are going to end the presentation and we are going to fix this. Go in. Yes, it's ING. What is it? Just give me a second. And okay, it was the keyword, it wasn't me, right? It was the keyword. Mm -hmm. Yes, give me a second. It is taking too much time. She have eager eagle's eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, she has. She has. Very good sign. So I play before, before going, right? Before going to sleep. Okay, now I fix it. Let me show you the result. Thank you. So we use this work, the time expression, to speak in simple present, right? And to say uh, time, right? To express time. So here we go again. Thank you very much. Okay, now it's okay. I play before going to sleep. Thank you so much. And tired after work is the last one. Uh, can you see the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Don't forget about this work. Please around early, late, until, before, and after. So let's see what time do you go to work? Let's use around in that sentence. Alrededor de qué horas se va para el trabajo? And you say, I go to work around six, around five. Any volunteer to say that sentence? I go to work around and say the hour. ¿A qué horas más o menos se va para el trabajo? What time do you go to work? I go to work around four o'clock a.m. Oh, that, that's too early. That's too early. Too early. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Margarita. I go to work around six, 30 minutes. Okay, around six, six and a half. Okay, six, 30. Six and a half. Six, six and a half. Six. Okay. okay, thank you. Any other volunteer? Now let's see the other sentence. Um, I, yes, tell me. I go to the work around six o'clock in the around morning. Around six o'clock in the morning. Okay, thank you. That is an excellent sentence. I go to work around six o'clock in the morning. Thank you very much. I leave my house early. Do you leave your house early? Yes, I do or no, I don't. Do you leave yes, your do. house early? No, you don't. Okay, lucky you, right? Lucky you. <laughs> And the next, I arrive home late. Do you arrive home late? Yes, I yes, do. I do. No, I don't. I do. Yes, I do. Okay, the other one, I work until midnight. Do you work until midnight? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, now let's see the next one. I play before going to sleep. Do you play uh, on your cell phone before going to sleep? Yes, yes I, I, I do. do. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, yes I, I do. do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, teachers, I play. I check my WhatsApp. <laughs> I check my Facebook. <laughs> my Instagram. Uh, a I couple of videos on TikTok. Okay, I watch um, some <laughs> videos on TikTok. And then uh, I go to sleep. Uh, I'm tired after work. Are you tired after work? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All the time. Okay, all the time. Right? Okay. Yeah. All the time. Today is Tuesday and I am waiting for Saturday right? and Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so don't forget about this and let's focus on the next expression of time. I have here some other examples, right? You are going to find these examples on the platform. We are going, uh, we are going to practice in this. I get up at seven. I go to bed around 10. I leave work early. I get home late. I stay up until midnight. I wake up before noon. And do you wake up before noon? Se levanta no. antes del mediodía o no, after? No. What means noon? Yes. Um, noon es mediodía, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, oh, I do. Yes, I do in this case. Yes, I do. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, I get up at 7 o'clock in the morning on weekdays. Weekday is Monday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. And that is weekdays, right? The five days of the week. Yes. So I get up at seven o'clock in the morning on weekdays. The other sentence is I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknight. Weeknight. Okay. Uh, serían las noches, ¿verdad? De la semana. Yes. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. Salgo temprano del trabajo in the afternoon on weekends. On Saturday. 
Saturday and, and Sunday. Sunday. That is Sunday. weekend. Sunday. Yes. Saturday and Sunday. Now I get home late at night on Fridays. Llego a casa yes. tarde en la noche, los días. Los viernes. Los viernes, viernes right? ¿Será que es el trabajo? It's Friday. Right? <laughs> It's Friday. It's a party boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a night old right? it's a night old person uh, I stay up until midnight on Saturday okay look at uh, on weekdays around 10 right? I go to bed around 10 but on Saturday I stay up until midnight estoy despierto hasta la media noche media noche I stay up until midnight on Saturday I wake up Before noon or afternoon on Sundays. Just on Sundays, right? I wake up before noon or afternoon on Sundays. Me despierto antes del mediodía o después del mediodía on Sundays. Now let's see this. Pay attention to this. In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, on Saturday, on Sunday, on weekdays, on weekend, on weeknight, on weekends, on Friday. This preposition of time uh, has different uses. Tienen diferentes usos. ¿no? Si los traducimos al español, todos significan en, en la mañana, en la tarde, en la noche. Uh, but they have different uses, and tonight we're going to learn these two. Simple present WH questions and statements. I, you. That is not the one. This is, we are going to use the preposition at for a precise time. Cuando estamos hablando de un tiempo específico, ¿verdad? Un tiempo preciso, un horario. Then we are going to use at. At, at three o'clock. At 10 30 a.m., at noon, at dinner time, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, at the moment, and also at night. Teacher, yo tenía yes. una pregunta. What is your en question? La anterior, en la anterior imagen, ¿cuál era la diferencia en, en, entre I get home and I arrive home? Uh, there is no difference. Uh, both expressions are used to say that llegar a casa. So we can use arrive or the verb get. So no problem. You can use both. I arrive home or I get home. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your question. Any other question? No. Okay. Let's go with it. I. Here. So remember, at, para tiempo específico. Cuando estamos hablando de una hora específica, we use at, precise time. Y si es una hora, ¿verdad? you say at. I get home at 6, 6 p.m., 6 o'clock p.m. I get home at 10.30 a.m. I have lunch at noon. And then I stay with my family at dinner time. Uh, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset. So, uh, horas específicas, ¿verdad? Tiempo preciso. Now, in, the preposition of time in, we are going to use in for months, years, centuries, and long periods. So, look at this. In May, in summer, in the summer, in 1990, in the 1990s, in the next century, in the ice age, in the past future, in the past or in the future, in the morning. So we are going to use in in these cases. Now let's see on, choose on for days and date. Days and date. Para días y para fechas. So look at this. On Sunday, it's a day. On Tuesday, it's a day. On Tuesdays. On 6 March. On 25th December. On Christmas Day. On Independence Day. 
on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, on Friday morning. So look at this, if I say in the morning, in la mañana, pero no digo ningún día específico, then I need in. Pero si voy a decir eh, la hora específica, say, uh, de un día específico, on Friday morning, on Friday afternoon, on Friday night, on Friday evening. So do you have any question in this part? Questions? If you don't have any question, let's try to solve the next exercise. Okay, let's practice. Number one, what is the correct? In Sunday, on Sunday, or at Sunday? On, on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Number two. Number two, the next one. On the evening, in the evening, or at the evening? In the evening. 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 Number two. Okay, in the evening, let's see the other one. On night, in night, at night. At, at night. 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 Yeah. Number three. Okay, perfect, number three. Let's see the other one. On Monday morning, in Monday morning, or at Monday morning? At Monday, on Monday, Monday morning. morning. Are you on sure? Monday. On Monday. At Monday morning. At Monday. Okay, on morning. Monday morning, on Monday morning. Let's see the next one. On February, in February, at February. In February. In February. Okay, in February is the right answer. On 2018, in 2018, at 2018. In 2018. In 2018. On. On mm. the day that. Um, um, on. Number two. In. Años. Years. In. Okay, with years, we use in. In this case, number two is the right answer. Thank you. Let's see the next one. On winter, in winter, at winter. In winter. Okay, excellent. In winter. Let's see the next one. Here, we are going to use at, in, and on to complete these sentences. Number one, she plays soccer. On. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Oh, yes, you're right. We go to the beach. In, in, in summer. summer. In summer. Yes, we go to the beach in summer. I drink coffee. At, at, in the, at the morning. morning. At the morning. At the morning. Oh, is it in or at? In. In. At. In. At. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I in drink the coffee morning. in the morning. He is busy. At the moment. Okay, the moment. at the moment. Okay, just wait a second. Okay, so a school start. School start January. In January. In, in January. In January. In January. Okay. In January. With, with moms, January. we use. In January. In. At in. night. Okay. On January. Yes. In. In. In, in January. January. Yes. The shop opens. The shop at, opens. At, at, okay. At nine. A specific time we use at. At nine. The soccer match is on. On, 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 on December. December. On December. Ten. Okay. With a specific date we use mm. on. on. The soccer mm -hmm. match is on December 10th. And I rest weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Okay, I rest on weekends. We celebrate Mother's Day. In May. In May. In May. In May. In May. We celebrate Mother's Day in May. 
Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So, any volunteer to practice the sentences from one to from one to four, please. Any volunteer to read these sentences? Number one, number two, three, and four. Good teacher. Thank you, Crisia. I read just the number one or from number one the to number, number one. four. Uh, the number one says she plays soccer on Sundays. The next, please. The number two says uh, we go to the beach in summer. And the number three says I drink coffee in the morning. And the number four says he is busy at the moment. Thank you very much. That was almost perfect. Thank you. Just this work, um, we say BC, BC. He is busy yes. at the moment, BC. Thank you, he's busy at the moment. So he is busy at the moment. So Emerita, can you please help me reading number five, six and seven, please? The school starts in January. The shop opens at nine. The soccer match is on December 10. I Ten. rest weekend. Yes, the last one. I rest on weekend. We Ten. celebrate Mother's Day in May. Thank you so much, Merita. Thank you. Crisia, you did a great work in this part. Thanks a lot. Do you have any question how to use on, in, and at? Okay, I'm going to share with you the presentation for you have this information, so don't work. So let's see the next. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about. Okay, now let's go to this part, daily skate duels. And this is a conversation, right? We are going to listen to this conversation. And then I'm going to tell you what we are going to do. So just pay attention. I'm going to ask you some questions after you listen. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Emma. Can you listen? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Pay attention. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're OK. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. Okay. So, what is the name of these two people who are speaking? What are their names? Tina and Rodney. Yeah, and Rodney, okay. And what are Rodney workouts like? He does he work in the morning? No. No, he doesn't. Okay. He does he, he work in the afternoon? Okay, the very afternoon. good. He works in the afternoon and evening. And evening. And evenings too. So, what time does Rodney get up? Around 9 a.m. Around 9 a.m. And what time does Rodney go to the bed? By the one. One in the morning. Okay. By one in the morning. And what does Tina do? What does Tina do? 
in a, to his office manager. She uh -huh. is an office manager. Is, she is an office manager. An office manager. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is her schedule? What is her work schedule? What is it? I um, it's regular night to us. Fine, okay. Okay, so we say she worked from nine, to, nine, to, nine. to five. To five, to five, okay. Uh, what time does she get off? At 7 a.m. Okay, she gets up at 7 a.m. And what time does she go to bed? We go to bed. Um, Do you want to listen again for that information? So let's listen again this conversation. Listen to Rodney he gets and to... Ellen talk about. Yes. Do you have a question? I can yeah. see it. It's all... I went in the morning. Oh, okay. What time does she go to bed? That is the question. ¿A qué hora se acuesta? Let's listen. Around listen to Rodney, PM. Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. Okay. Okay, teacher, she goes to bed at midnight. On weekdays. Midnight on, on weekdays. Week on weekdays. Okay. Yes, you are right. Just give me a second. What happened here? What is the other part of this conversation? Okay, do you have a question, new vocabulary in this conversation? Not a question, teacher. No question? It's okay, teacher. I need to volunteer who wants to practice, who wants to practice in this conversation. This exercise is a, a final exercise, the chapter two. Oh, yes, it is. This is the listening. This is the listening, which you say that you didn't understand the, the hours, right? The time. Yes. Yes. Okay. So here is the, the information, right? That's okay because I like to go out. I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. So around midnight, right? So on weekdays. What time do you go to bed on weekdays? What time do you go to bed on weekdays? I go to bed. I am going to bed around seven p.m. Around 10 p.m. Okay, after around classes, you go to bed. Okay, around 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I have uh, to volunteer to practice this conversation. Just to volunteer, who wants to try? Me, teacher. Okay, Emily and Emerita. Emerita, you are Tina and you are Rodney. You can start. Emily, what do you do? Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are you work 
our life. They are okay. I work in the afternoon and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home partly late about 11 p.m. and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. What do you do, Tina? Well, I am an office manager. It's a regular night to fly office job. I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay because I like to go out night. Go out at night. I go to bed around my night on weekdays. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's where midnight, midnight on the weekend days. So thank you, Emily. Thank you, Merita. That was a great job. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help in this conversation. So what is this, this expression? I get home fairly late. About What's the meaning PM. fairly? Okay, bastante. Bastante. Okay, yes. I, okay. Okay. So fairly maybe, late es muy tarde. Bastante tarde is I get home. Okay. Fairly late, about 11 p.m. Any okay. other question? Any other question? Okay, I need another two volunteers, another two volunteers to practice in this conversation. Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Margarita, and? Me, teacher. Oscar, thank you. Margarita, you are Tina. Oscar, you are Rodney. You can start, please. What do you do, morning? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are you work hours like? Today, okay. I work in the afternoon and evening. I get up around 9 a.m. And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. And I'm usually in bed, in bed by one in the morning. What do you do, Tina? Well, I am an office manager. It's a regular night to five of a job. I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. On weekdays. Thank you very much. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you, Margarita. Perfect job. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So any other question? Then let's listen the second part of this conversation. This is just the first part. Let's listen, listen to Rod. Second. This is the second part of this conversation is between Rodney, Tina, and Helen. So let's listen. What about you, Ellen? Can you listen? Yes. Yes? Okay, here we go. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? No new vocabulary? How did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, do you have a question? A new vocabulary in this small conversation? A new work? Flight attendant. Flight attendant. In Spanish, is like a zapata, zapata. I guess. A zapata. Sobrecargo. Oh, sobrecargo. Oh, sobrecargo. Okay, Correct. agente de vuelo, tú. Very good answers. Thank yes. you. I have a question. Tell me, Crisia, what is your question? Uh, what means right away? 
Oh, it's like inmediatamente. I always go to bed right away around 10. So as soon she get home, she go to bed. Tan pronto como llega a la casa, se acuesta, ¿verdad? It is no Latina, right? She is a Latina. So listen again, pay attention to the pronunciation, please, and then we're going to have a practice. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at six in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Any children need to practice in this conversation? No volunteers. Well, let me teach. Okay, Christian and me teacher. Margarita, thank you. So let's listen, Crisia and Margarita. You can start, Crisia, please. Okay, um, what about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a big different. I fly at 10, I start work at six in the morning. So I have to get up before five I am. Wow, that's so that's too early for me. Then I often have long fires. So I don't get home only night until nine o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away around 10. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's see, we're going to practice in this question. So take notes on this question because we're going to use it in the breakup room. So what are you, what hours like? ¿Cómo es su horario? ¿Cómo son sus horas de trabajo? What are your work hours like? What time do you get off? What time do you get home or arrive home? And what time do you go to bed? So let me know when you finish. We are going to use this, right? If you can take a screenshot or write the questions because you're going to practice with your classmates. What are your work hours like? What time do you get off? What time do you arrive home? Or what time do you get home? What time do you go to bed? So you are going to ask and answer a question with your classmates. Let me know when you're ready, please. In the first question, you say, I work. I work from 7 to 5, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I work from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. I work from 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. What time do you get up? And you say, I get up early in the morning. I get up at 4 at four o'clock in the morning. I get up at eight o'clock in the morning. What time do you get home? You say, I get home at 6 p.m. I get home at seven, at 7 p.m. And what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at, I go to bed at 10 p.m. I go to bed at midnight. So you are going to answer this question with your classmates. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. So here we go. Second. Today we are 28. Okay. See you in five minutes. See you in five. You are going to have five minutes to complete this activity. Okay. Everything is clear? Yes? Yes? Excuse me? It's everything clear? Do you know what you are going to do with your class? Oh, yes. Yes? yes? Okay. Yes. Okay. Here we go. See you in five minutes.
Hello, Elida Sarai. Do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room? Hello, Rocio. Good evening. Hello. Me sacó del grupo. Yeah, okay. I'm going to... Okay, there you go. Hello, Elida. Do you have a problem? Enter to the breakup rooms. Hello, Elida. Good evening. Can I help you? Elida Sarai, can I help you? Let me know, please, if you need help. at 10, 10 p.m. More 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. Around 10. Around 10. Okay. Oscar. Are you sleeping? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> what time do you get up? Today you get up at four o'clock. <laughs> <¿Qué me dice? laughs> no. What time do you get up? Um, I get up at four a.m. Four a.m. Okay. Four a.m. What time do you arrive home? Um, early at um, two p.m. 2 p.m. PM, yes. I arrive at uh, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Because I get up at 4 o'clock a.m. 4 a.m. Well, what, what about Oscar Armando? Hello, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar Armando, hello. Ya durmió otra vez. Are you sleep, Walker? Get up, Oscar. Oscar are sleeping. No. He say, wake up, wake up, Oscar. Um, Se no durmió. Is he Se traveling? No is he in a car? I have a problem with your he is, internet. He is driving, I guess. Oscar. No. Ay, Oscarito Armando. <laughs> he is driving. Tiene silenciado el. el, el your el, microphone, el, Oscar. Microphone. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Can you listen us? No. Oscar Armando. It's bad. The signal. <laughs> okay. 
is speaking, but we cannot listen. We can listen you. We can listen you, Oscar. You have to activate we... your microphone. Yeah. Oscar, one, two, three. No. Okay. Okay. Okay, now let's see, uh, continue practicing the question. Okay. Uh, okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmate. Thank you so much. You too, okay. teacher. Thank you. We, we couldn't listen, Oscar. Yes. Oscar, Oscar. Well, well, hello, welcome again. How was your practice? Did you finish? Did you participate? Yes, I finished. Did you yes, participate? Yes. 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 Okay, let's yes, make a question. Yeah. What time do you get up, Jeffrey? What time do you get up? Uh, I get up at 7 a.m. Okay. Uh, 7 o'clock. Thank you, Jeffrey. Very good answer. Daisy Carolina, what time did you get up? At 5 a.m. Okay, I get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. Oh, that's too early. Uh, Guadalupe Lisette, what time did you get up? I get up at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in the morning. Alejandra, what time do you go to bed? Um, uh, I usually <laughs> go to bed at midnight. <laughs> at midnight. <laughs> Hello, Brian and Steven. Hey, but I'm Sonia, sorry. Ah, okay. It's Good insomnia. Even. It's insomnia, right? No, it's not the WhatsApp. It's insomnia. So, Brian, <laughs> Brian, let me know, please. What time do you go to bed? Me too, uh Midnight. <laughs> okay, at midnight. Okay. Uh, Jose Luis Gomez, what are, let me see, what are your work hours like? I work from the 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, can you please repeat your answer? I work from the 3 p.m. Okay, 3 p.m. I work from 3 p.m. to? Yes. Okay. De las tres hasta qué horas, José Luis? Uh, get out three and, uh, and half. Three and a half in the morning. La hora de salida. Ah, okay. <laughs> At the afternoon. In the afternoon. Ah, okay. You finish. You finish your work at three thirty in the afternoon. Okay. Thank you. But I like three p.m. <laughs> okay. Uh, what time did you get up, Luis? What time did you get up, Luis? I get up, I get up uh, four a.m. Four o'clock a.m. Yes. Too early. Too early. And Ronald, Ronald Antonio, what time do you get home? What time do you get home? 
I go to bed at what time do you home? Ah, este, como trabajo, casi la parte del trabajo. ¿Cómo oh. podría decir ahí? Cinco so, minutos me tarde. <laughs> I get home early. I get home early. Okay. okay. Qué mala suerte de Ronald. No se puede ir para otro lado, hombre. Ahí nomás te va. <laughs> Atrapado, encerrado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Ronald. Katia, Katia okay. Enriquez, uh, what time do you go to bed? Ten p.m. Oh, 10 p.m. Okay, yeah. excellent. Go to I go to bed at 10 p.m. And Margarita Lee said, what are your hours, your work hours like? Um, I, la I like uh, worse hours in the morning. Okay. Mm, at 8 uh, At uh, ten, I am. Okay, okay. Look at this question. Let's discuss this question a little bit, just to finish the class of today. This is the question: What are your work hours like? This question yes. means: Te gusta tu horario de trabajo? Okay, then you, your answer is, uh, yes, they are okay, right? They are okay. They are okay. Or oh, I like, I like them. I like them. And then you can add here this information. I work from uh, seven to four. I work from seven to work. Well, I work in the morning. I work in the morning. So we can answer this question in this way, right? So you say they are okay. I work from seven to four. I work from seven a.m. Okay. to four p.m. I like them. I work in the morning. Había comprendido mal la pregunta, teacher. Okay. Um, yes. Me I'm too, smiling. teacher. Me Thank too, teacher. You. Okay, I'm so sorry. I, under, I, I, I understand uh, what hours, um, how be like. Oh, what is your schedule? I, like, what is your schedule? Okay. ¿Cuál es horario? ¿Así la habían entendido? Como, ¿qué hora no, trabajas? la hora que más me gusta. La hora no, que más la hora que más nos gusta. Ah, Por eso okay. José Luis decía que le gustaba las tres y las por tres y media, le... que es la hora de salir. Ajá, por eso ah, le dije, a mí me gusta las tres porque salgo a las tres y media. Ah, ok, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was my mistake, okay. I guess. I'm sorry. I don't understand the ask. Ok, but no. now, is it clear? Is it clear now? Yes? Yes, 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 teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Ah, ok, ok, thank you. So, do you have any question about tonight's class? Time expression. Early, after, before, late, eh, in, at, on. I guess that in, at, and on are a little bit difficult, right? Because they have different uses. Eh, we use them different. So we have to study that part, right? Eh, don't forget, okay. please, about the platform exercises. Don't forget about the platform. Remember that you have to work on those exercises and evaluation. Section one, section two, and section three. We need to finish then in a hurry. So see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for your attention, see for tomorrow, your participation. Teacher. Bye, teacher. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher.